Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my April favorites. So filming this today, which would be May 6th, a little bit later than I would like, but I haven't had a chance to. <laughs> haven't had a chance. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start that today. Let's see if I can finish this today. I just got ready for work. I have to head out soon. Yeah. So if I don't finish this today, I still have tomorrow morning <laughs> after I finish getting ready. But I do have, I'm going to take advantage today since I use these products on my face today. I wanted to show them on my face. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing what goodies made it to my favorites for this month, which it's not that many. It's not that many, just a few. So should be a quick one. But if you guys are interested, then go ahead and keep watching. lighting here <laughs> yeah so I thought I was filming my favorites my April favorites today which is why I wore a lot of my favorites today on my face but hubby went to the gym earlier and he's home sleeping on the couch so today was a full day of working with a mask and this is the end result. I still have my blush on. Still have the Kylie blush on. Starting to get a friend. Still have the highlight on. Yeah. So this is end of the day. Since tomorrow I am off, which is when I will be filming this video. <laughs> yeah, had some lipstick on my teeth. Got my monster ready. All right, so let's get started. Oh, I forgot to take one product out. So I'm going to start with this one because this one would be a repeat. So again, making the list would be the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I still love this guy. I love this guy so much. I am wearing it today. Yeah. Didn't wear it yesterday because I was off and I wore no makeup. My face needed a break, so no makeup. Because lately, even on my days off, I've been doing makeup because I've been filming some looks. So, there's that. But... I've been wearing this guy so much, so much. I wear other things, but then I constantly go back to this. This guy just never fails me, never fails me. Yeah. So I really, really love this one. It's just so good. It is so good. It's never heavy. I, my face never gets cakey. Never. So... That's a huge plus for me. Huge plus, even with wearing the mask all day. Still. Still pretty good. So, now jumping on to this guy, which would be new. So, yeah. I'm not sure. Cause I, I'm, at this moment, I'm filming... Yeah, I'm filming this one, but I'm still editing a few videos. So I don't know if this video is up yet. Because as of now, I still haven't even uploaded my part 2 Sephora haul. And then trying this guy out. But I tried this guy out, which would be the Kosas Airbrow. Which would be the tinted one. Got the shade gray. And ever since I tried it on for that video that day, I've been using this one every single day. Every single day. Every day since then even today so I wasn't too sure I mean I didn't hate it when I first tried it but I've kept using it I've kept using it and yeah I really really like this so let me see because I do take pictures of my look so I wanted to see 
when it was that I tried this. But yeah, and also I really, really like the shade. Shade Gray. So April 29th. Right at the end, right at the end. But uh, yeah. So the 29th. And today is the 6th. Yeah. So the only one thing I will say about this, which I have noticed, I have noticed about this one, is will kind of flake. It'll kind of flake. I've noticed that. Like maybe towards the end of the day or end of my work day, I will just slightly touch my brow and you see all these little black dots, these flakes or gray dots. Yeah, I feel like it flakes a little bit. Yeah, so I have to see about that, but I love the staying power of this, the shade I love. Yeah, I just love how my brows just stay put. They stay put. Yeah, really, really, really good. So I've been really, really enjoying this one. Really enjoying this one. Yeah. First time I get a shade like this, which works out really well. I've just really, really been enjoying this. Really, really like that. Yeah. All right. And then the next item is kind of going in order the way that I do my makeup. So for this one would be these two, which should come at no surprise. No surprise. So I have worn these guys quite a bit. Yeah. So I got these from Ipsy. These are the Belle and Argent. Let's see, what are these called? The Panchromatic Eyeshadow Palettes. So they do only have two. They have two of them. Firstly, I had gotten this one, which is in Plum Premonition. Really, really pretty. I absolutely loved this. Which for me, even this is a little bit more neutral. Are we kind of bright? Yeah, we are kind of bright. There we go. Yeah. For me, even this is very neutral. Yeah, when I first got this, I tried it, and I really, really like this. Just swatching it, I can tell the formula. Yeah, and it performs beautifully. Beautifully. I love this one specifically because of the sparkle of the shimmers. The sparkles are so, so beautiful. I really like this. And then I received this past month the Nude Intuitive Vision. Which this one is a lot more neutral. <laughs> a lot more neutral, but again, when I tried it on the eyes, those taupey grays. Taupey grays, so I do love color, but when it comes to neutrals, those grayish tones, I guess because of the hair, I love. I love. Yeah, I've worn this one quite a bit in plenty of videos. I even did a giveaway. Doing a giveaway with this one and another item that also made it to the list. Yeah. So I'm wearing both of these in combination on my eyes today. I just really, really like this. So for today, for shimmer, I did do this one on the center lid, I guess kind of to match the shirt. And then for the inner lid, I did this one. This one for inner corner and brow bone. Yeah. Really, really love that. Really love that. Yeah, so I do have a clip the other day when I was planning on filming this, which I did have all of these products on my face, all these products on my face. Also, that day was a combination of these two as well. It was after a long day at work, wearing a mask as a baker, you know, 450 degree oven. Yeah, a lot of running around, never stopping. 
So it was kind of to show you where my makeup was at at the end of the workday, which was really good. Really good. Alrighty, so the next item would be this guy. Yeah, a little bit unexpected. So this would be the Kylie Pressed Blush Powder. <sighs> Alarms. Got to turn those off. In the shade Close to Perfect. Yeah, so I purchased this one and another one from Ulta for $8 which are still on clearance. This one and the other one, Kitten Baby, I think is the shade. They're still on there, as long also with a very light pink shade. That's all they have available now. Yeah. I think the brand is completely rebranding, so they're getting rid of everything. Getting rid of everything, even their Instagram. Everything has been deleted. But... I've been really enjoying this. Yeah, I learned this early on using this. I do have it on today. Where this blush, especially the color. I love the color. But it lasts all day. All day. And if you saw the clip, that was after a long work day. And the blush was still on. Still on. So I've noticed with this one, the staying power... It's really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. This one definitely lasts all day on your skin. It does not fade. Which, yeah, some blushes, or a lot of blushes, they do fade. But this one stays on. Stays on, stays put. So I think for this one, for $8, definitely, maybe for the full price. <laughs> Even though I did pay full price for the bronzer. And I do really, really like it, but... For eight dollars yes so if you can get your hands on this definite yes which i was doing a giveaway with this shade also with a lipstick highly lipstick some ioni lashes the nyx brow glue a highlight from saint lux i was doing that little giveaway in my last favorites but nobody entered <laughs> nobody entered the giveaway so i guess i'm gonna have to run that giveaway again yeah so we'll see with that one and then also another one that I've been wearing a lot a lot and mentioned a lot also did a giveaway with this one along with the eyeshadow palette this would be the Kvos highlighter luminous highlighter palettes another one I did receive in my ipsy same time as the palette <sighs> I knew right away yeah I saw it, I swatched it, and I was like, okay. But when I tried it on, that was a whole different story. Yeah. So definitely out of the three, I will say this one is my favorite. I guess maybe because this would be for light skin tones, medium skin tones, and dark skin tones. So this one's the one that works out best for me. But I have used all three. I've used this one alone. I've mixed these two. I've mixed, I think, this one and this one. Today, I mixed these two for the first time. It was just one dip into this one and more so into this one. And it still works out. It still works out. I thought it would be too dark, but no. I guess it just makes, since the other two are a little bit more icy, it just kind of tones down the other two, makes it a little bit more golden yeah so if you don't want something too icy dip into that one to tone it down a bit but yeah I really really like this I love that I love that and I'm especially happy because in my ipsy my ipsy glam by plus I'm getting the blush palette getting the blush palette so I'm excited I'm excited I saw their Instagram and I saw that they had a blush palette and I was curious. Yeah. And then for this one, I thought I would give a little honorable mention because I did notice, even though it's not meant for the lips, it's not meant for the lips, it's an eye paint. It works out really, really well for the lips. So this is from About Face. 
and this is the matte fluid eye paint and I have the shade cloned I have the shade cloned really nice brown I do love brown lips so when I swatched this I also got it in my ipsy I thought this would make a really nice lip color which I do have on today yeah so I think maybe because this guy is for your eyes it's a matte eye paint doesn't completely get dry and crackly the way a liquid lipstick would so it's a comfortable matte very comfortable matte but I did notice not yesterday since I didn't wear makeup day before yesterday I was wearing this I put it on I ate and it was still on it was still on so pretty good staying power pretty good staying power so that'll give that guy a mention then for the last one uh, for the last one we have some tools so from two different sets I have two brushes from each set so we have from Blink brushes because I have been using these guys quite a bit so from the original silver set we have the F3 and the F4 so the F3 would be the bronzer brush and then the F4 would be the blush brush yeah at first I wasn't really using this one as much but I've actually been enjoying this I've been enjoying this used it today do a little bit of contouring with a cooler tone shade and just some bronzing don't contour too much just a little bit but yeah I've been enjoying this one quite a bit love this one from the start and then also from the Paige Corin collab we have the F21 and the F24 so the F21 would be the face powder brush which I love how huge it is to apply my powder all over just been loving this one perfect density perfect size perfect softness yeah been really enjoying that to set my foundation been loving that and then this guy would be the blush brush from that collection so this one and this one are different this one's a little bit more dense and then this one is a lot softer and fluffier did go in with this one today so I guess depending on how you want your blush if you want a little bit more diffuse or it's a really really pigmented blush I would say go in with this one to get a softer effect and then maybe to pick up a little bit more would be this one but yeah I really really like those especially this one especially this one it even feels so nice on the face and you get done much faster because of the size <laughs> all right so we were able to finish this today didn't think i would but i do have to head out pretty soon so that would be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this please go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye